Hey guys, it's time for me to do my top three shows of the week. And in third place goes The Tomorrow People. Um, I really actually liked this week's episode. We had a little bit of change of pace, which was good. We had some really good backstory on Astrid in this episode. And we had some really great scenes between her and John, which I really liked. Um, we got to see him out of his element a bit. He was topside and he went to protect her, ended up getting shot and they had some really great scenes together. And it was sort of a really good opening up of Astrid and letting John realize that maybe he should start thinking about dreams and things that he wants to have in the future. Cause pretty much he just spends all day just trying to survive. But what happens when they actually do? What does his life end up looking like? So I like that it sort of opened up his eyes to maybe he might have a future one day if um, they can ultimately take down Ultra and um, succeed in their plan. We also had a really good reveal that uh, Steven's younger brother, Luca, is turning into a tomorrow person and he's starting to break out. So that was a really cool twist that I was I didn't see coming and I should have seen it coming, but I didn't. And I guess that's, you know, kudos to the show. Um, they did a really good misdirect there. So I really um, liked that ending and I'm excited to see what happens this week um, uh, on the show. Um, my second favorite show of the week, um, well, it was a toss up, but I think it will have to go to the originals. And the originals is really stepping up its game and I'm liking that. They had a lot of um, really creepy, great witch stuff happening in this episode. And we had some sacrifices going on and some, um, great torture scenes with the originals and some really great emotional scenes as well. Um, and I think what I like about this show this season is they're really giving us some good backstory on our main characters outside of the originals, because let's face it, we know most of them from the Vampire Diaries, if you watch that show. So we don't really need to know more about the Michelson family, but it's good to still see the history according to what happened to them when they were in New Orleans. And, um, the threats that once posed to them back in the day and how they are now starting to resurface in present day. So I think that the show is doing a really great job with that. Um, and I just think that they're really starting to flush out a lot of the characters and I enjoy that too. Um, my number one show of the week goes to Arrow and that is because it was pretty awesome. <laughs> um, we had some really awesome fight scenes in this episode. Um, we also had some really great, uh, reveals. Again, we had Roy finding out that Oliver is Arrow. Um, we had the woman from Argus. I stand corrected. I was calling them the hive and it's actually Argus, Amanda Waller. She came forth and she is now trying to put together a squad, which is going to be very interesting in the future. We like where that is going to be heading. Um, we also found out that Moira is all of a sudden going to be running for mayor up against Sebastian Blood. Uh, and that is obviously going to pose some difficulties because we know that Sebastian Blood is working for Slade and Slade obviously wants to be in control of everything and we'll see where that plays out. And of course the relationship with Oliver and Sebastian Blood is a little complicated and he doesn't know that Sebastian Blood is all evil so it'll be very interesting to see what happens when he starts to go up against his mom. And then of course we had the big reveal at the end with Sarah showing up to Laurel. And now that Laurel has seen her sister, I'm sure she's thinking that she's high on her pills <laughs> and that Sarah's not really real. But when she finds out that it's true, it'll be very interesting to see what happens there. And I'm excited to see next week's episode because the show is, I'm sure, will not disappoint on that big um, moment between the two sisters. Uh, other than that, I think that we're starting to really get a good sense of a lot of the villains that are coming forward. Obviously, Slade is, you know, set on destroying Oliver and Arrow. And um, his plan is going to, I'm sure, going to start to, to take effect very soon. And, uh, you know, seeing those flashback scenes with him set on destroying um, the ship that they were on... Uh, and now it looks like Oliver in the flashback was saying that they're going to take over this 
I, what were they in? Was it like a, a compartment? I can't remember what it was, but he, they're going to take it back. So that's obviously going to be really cool. And I'm really excited to see how Oliver goes from that transformation of being like that whiny kid on the island to, you know, this badass in present day. So that's going to be really cool to see. So those are my top three shows for this week. I mean, not a lot of shows are on TV right now because I think a lot of shows are on hiatus due to the Olympics coming up and a lot of stuff is just taking a break. So it's really mostly the CW that um, was airing a lot of their episodes. I mean, there was like Chicago PD and Intelligence and The Blacklist. No, The Blacklist was on this week? It was. But I have made a decision, guys. I'm sorry. I am pulling out from reviewing Intelligence and The Blacklist. Um, I just, I don't know. I just, I one, I don't have as much time anymore. And two, I'm just not 100% loving these shows. And I just don't know if I want to keep doing reviews where they're just negative all the time. I like being energized and excited about a show. And then if a show has a misstep, I have no problem talking about that. But when I'm not really enjoying the show, it just makes for kind of like a lackluster um review and I don't want to do that to my fans or you know you guys my subscribers out there I want to make sure that if I'm reviewing a show it's because I'm really liking it I'm enjoying it and if they have problems I'll call them out on it but when I'm not liking a show it just doesn't make any sense for me to just continue to review it so sorry guys if you were liking my the blacklist reviews <laughs> let me know but I just can't do it anymore and um Intelligence. I am enjoying intelligence still. I just don't have the time to do as many of the reviews I was doing before. But um, let me know what you thought of my top three and let me know what your top three were. Okay, I'll see you guys next week and enjoy the Super Bowl tomorrow. Go Broncos.